So next up in my all-out war guides is going to be healing. Healing is probably more simple than rallying in this game mode, and it's more universal in its uses, so everyone in the faction can very easily heal, and they should due to the milestone rewards that, in this season of the event at least, are resetting weekly actually. And you can see here that you can obtain huge amounts of badge chests and heals and whatnot from these rewards for free. And badge chests now, even for players with their badges maxed, are now very important due to the release of red badges. And the store for All Out War was updated with the buy limits, so you could actually buy a full red badge for, theoretically at least, uh, purely free-to-play means through this event. Healing will also be fundamental, and your goals of winning fights and sustaining in fights for your faction in this event, since there are two means of things that you can heal. There is the troops themselves, but also the resilience of the troops. So resilience will be lost in movement and time spent fighting. You can see the details of this in match description down here. So traveling a certain amount of distance will consume one point of resilience, and six seconds in battle will consume one point of resilience too. And you can see when your resilience drops to zero, you're going to take huge amounts of damage and deal significantly reduced damage too. So you're going to always want to be trying to keep your resilience topped off. And for that same matter, you're obviously going to want to try and keep your troop totals as high as they possibly can be as well. So for healing, the primary material that's going to be used for this is wheat or grain, however you want to uh, refer to it as. It's called Wheat in this game mode for whatever reason. And both restoring resilience and healing troops will both consume wheat in one form or another. Some forms require the wheat to be held by your marches themselves or a medic vehicle. And for some, the wheat can just be taken directly out of allied warehouses. So there are four means of healing. You have recover resilience, self-heal, and then you'll be able to do these both on allied marches as well when using a logistic march and for healing at least when using a logistics march with a healing vehicle equipped. But just to cover these two first of all, you have recover resilience and self heal. You can see when I click them here, I just get error messages and they can't cast. Self heal is honestly maybe the most misconstrued version of healing in this game mode. So you have to be inside an allied municipal center. So this is this giant circle in any of these allied cities. You can do this in any city that you have ownership of. And when you click this, it will instantly heal you to the full amount of wounded troops you have in your lineup. This won't include seriously wounded troops. And this is another misconception where I've seen some people be very confused by the comparisons of wounded to seriously wounded when looking through their reports, and it's very understandable why. The way you have to perceive these is wounded is the total amount of troops in your march that can be healed at that given time. So the amount of wounded troops that aren't seriously wounded. So all of these can be recovered at this point in time with a medic vehicle or self-healing in an allied municipal center. So this here will be a running total of your wounded troops. So this can stack to like 700k, I mean, you see here, the seriously wounded is just 450 to his 480 wounded here. So in this fight, I seriously wound this 451 of his troops, but he already had overall this total amount of wounded on this march. The amount of seriously wounded in All Out War are the troops that eventually end up in the hospital and have to be healed directly here. Anything that remains in wounded when you return to base or disband your marches, will just be available for free again. They'll effectively be auto-healed. So seriously wounded here are these troops that end up in hospital, and wounded will be the troops that you can heal. So as you fight more and more, the more seriously wounded you get, you'll end up having a limit on the amount that you can actually heal to, and this will affect this self-heal button here. So when using this, you will instantly heal all wounded troops in this march that you have selected. It will be the S hotkey 
and it will be immediate. And the biggest misconception with this is, with all other forms of healing, you have to have the wheat held here by the march. So you have to, say, run over to an allied warehouse, then access it, and then pick the resources up yourself from the warehouse like this. And now you're holding this grain, you can then heal with it. With the self-heal button, just clicking this will directly take the wheat out of the allied warehouse that is in the same city as the municipal center. So anyone can do this. They don't need grain held by their marches at all. The only limiting factor is the amount of wheat that's held in the warehouse. And of course, when you hit zero wheat in this warehouse, you'll no longer be able to heal. So if you are holding wheat on your march trying to self-heal with it, don't do that. Go to the allied warehouse of where you're fighting, access the warehouse, and then drop your wheat in there, and then you'll be able to heal with the self-heal button through that. Recover resilience is the exact same, but you have to be stood inside an allied village, so something like this, and it has to be rebuilt as well. This, however, will take the wheat from the wheat that's held on the march itself. There's nothing to take the wheat from, obviously, because there's no allied warehouse neighbouring this. The other means of healing, though, which is the most prominent forms of healing and what will be contributing to these heal ally milestones, is the healing through a medic vehicle or just through logistics with resilience. So to heal yourself through these two means, you can do that with whatever march you have set up. To heal other people, however, you need to be using this checkbox here, convert to logistics. If we hover it, it says there, the health and defense will be increased and damage will be reduced. If you have a logistics march, you will be horrendous in PvP. If you'll see in reports, your health and defense are super juiced up, but if you actually do it in practice, you do so little damage, it's just horrendous. So do not use logistic marches to fight with, only use them to heal with. You can see there, the supplies being transported by the deployment can be used to replenish resilience of allies. So you're going to have to keep this box checked when you deploy your troops. And then these buttons will appear. You have recover resilience here on D and heal allies here on F. So we can use this recover resilience just by being logistics. But if we want to heal our allies directly, which is typically what we're going to want to be doing. Ideally, we're going to be doing both at once. There's no real reason, in my opinion, to be running a logistics march if you don't have it set up with a medic vehicle. So you're going to have to equip your medic vehicle, convert to logistics, and then deploy your lineup with that. Again, it's going to be using wheat, so we're going to have to go over to the Allied Warehouse and withdraw some of that. We're obviously going to need this medic vehicle, which we're going to be getting from the armory. You can create the small medic vehicle, medium, and large. As you go up, it will decrease the amount of wheat that is required to heal all throughout. And at gold, you will also gain that same reduction for replenishing resilience as well. So you'll be able to sustain and fight longer, heal for longer without having to go back to another warehouse to restock. So you're obviously going to want as high a rarity medic vehicle as possible. So you'll have to request that from your faction. These higher rarity ones, I will say, as someone who has been helping primarily to organize and distribute these vehicles, the prices of these higher rarities has gone up fairly significantly. So for example, I believe on these purple rally chariots, the silver cost has increased by six times since the first season. But the amount of silver nodes, for example, is the exact same. And it's just, it's hard to churn out these higher level vehicles consistently and when you have these just endless application lists so getting what you want in the high rarities particularly early in the event will be very difficult so be cognizant of that even if you are looking for these higher rarity ones but when you do manage to get these uh, you'll just want to put it on your march like i showed here get grain onto it and then now you have that grain you're in logistics you have the medic vehicle uh, deployed on this march you will now be able to heal resilience and wounded troops in allied marches at will you can do these in 
any part of the map. There's no geographical restrictions like there are with the self heals and self resilience recovers. You just have to click the hotkey or even manually down here by clicking them or using, of course, the hotkeys themselves of D and F. And then once you've clicked it, you can then click your allies like that. And then it will go through the corresponding animation and you will heal or restore their resilience. It's really as simple as that. One thing to note is that the healing animations are channeled. So I'm not sure I can find anyone who actually has missing health here. No. But when you heal someone, your march will then stand still and channel a like green beam of healing. And you'll see visual feedback of that beam. And this button here will become a green heart and say healing. You will have to stand still and the person you're healing will have to stand still for the full duration of this to fully heal them. If you move or if the person you're healing uh, moves as well, it will break the channel and the heal will then stop. So just remember that when you're going to heal is you're going to have to stand still and wait for this channel to fully stop. Given how buggy the UI can be and the graphics can be, I think the best way of waiting for this duration to end is looking for that green heart you see down there. How it turns into that green heart. Can't <laughs> make it last very long because there's nothing to actually heal here, but you see how it changes. It will stay as that green heart until the full duration of the heal is done. And when it's done, you can then move on to other people. You can heal whoever you want. Top their resilience off. Resilience is very important. You can heal your own marches, of course, with your medic vehicle. Don't only have to heal other people. It's totally fine healing yourself as well. That will also count for the, the healing milestones also. I think that's pretty much all the details there really is about healing. Like the, the self heal thing in municipal centers is definitely a misconception I see because people think it takes the wheat that's being carried by their own marches when it in fact doesn't. It takes it from the warehouses instead. The nice thing with Healing in all-out war is anyone can contribute to it. So even the smallest players, you can help a huge amount by just committing really hard to healing. If you just pocket heal, like the strongest account in your faction, and just keep healing them over and over and over again, keep restocking your wheat, keep making sure you can keep their resilience topped off, their healing topped off, you're going to be contributing a lot for your faction. And there are actually leaderboards for this now within your faction, which you can use to brag about. A slightly less sexy, but still fun and relevant route to ego rankings and competition within the faction, which I actually think is quite a nice addition. Same for gathering and construction and whatnot. It does help to show who is putting the effort in and who is really helping the faction. So yeah, to everyone out there who is going hard as a healer, you are very much appreciated, I'm sure, by your faction. And if you didn't know how to heal, if you had any questions about it. I hope this video has answered those questions that you had about it.